Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I follow Weight Watchers and I track calories and macros. Happy Monday. It is Monday, so it is meal prep day and I have three amazing recipes for you including a copycat Starbucks recipe. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because we do a meal prep every Monday and I upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below for my recipe website where you will find all three of today's recipes, nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend. This is how I lost 90 pounds in the year of 2022 and 140 pounds total. I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability and if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and of course, come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. So let's head on into the kitchen for this week's meal prep. Start meal prep. I always like to get my vegetables and my fruit ready for the week. I did all my fruit yesterday, but I'm going to chop up all of my favorite green veggies using my Luxier fruit and vegetable produce storage saver containers. The, these are BPA free. They come with a lid. What I love about these is they're very affordable. They come in white, they come in green, and I love that there's a colander as part of the storage container. That way you're able to rinse your vegetables off directly in the storage container, shake off the excess water, Water, pop it into the plastic tub, pop the lid on with the carry handle and throw it into your refrigerator. You're actually going to receive five different sizes and these are excellent, excellent quality. They are lightweight, they are stackable, and it's the easiest way to store all your fresh fruits and vegetables. You can pick these up directly off of Amazon, so it is easy and convenient, and they're delivered directly to your doorstep. I've purchased these in the past. This is actually the second set that I ordered because I love them so much. I very much appreciate that they stack so that they don't take up a lot of space in my refrigerator, and I'm able to keep my fruits and vegetables fresh all week. So I will link these down below on Amazon with 10% off. For breakfast this week, I am making one of my favorite breakfasts from Starbucks. And wait until you see how I've reduced the calories and the points of this. This is the Starbucks spinach and feta wrap. This is a great way to get in a ton of protein and super simple to make. So save your points, your calories, your money, and make these at home. So let me show you what's in the recipe. First, you're going to need a tortilla of your choice. I'm using the Joseph's lavash bread. This is actually my favorite. I'm going to do half of a lavash bread per spinach and feta wrap. You could use the whole thing if you wanted, but I'm going to pair my wrap with something else for breakfast. So I think half of one of these will be plenty. You'll need some reduced fat feta, sun-dried tomatoes, not in oil. Make sure you buy the ones in the little pouch. Egg whites, fresh or frozen spinach, and salt and pepper. I will link my Gravity Fed salt and pepper grinders down below for you. They are off of Amazon. Love them. And that is all that you need for the recipe. So the first thing we're going to do is pull out a small pan, spray it with some non-stick cooking spray, and then we're going to add three tablespoons of liquid egg whites or two large egg whites. Season that with a little salt and pepper. Go ahead and add some torn, fresh or frozen spinach right on top. But once the egg whites are mostly cooked, we're gonna go ahead and fold that over. And that will help that spinach wilt just a little bit. I do have a plate. I'm going to set the cooked egg white on the plate. I'm going to make four spinach and feta wraps for the week. So my egg whites are ready to go. I have my lavash bread cut in half. So what we're going to do is we're going to add one of the egg whites to half of the lavash bread. Add some sun-dried tomatoes. I did go ahead and chop these up just a little bit out of the package. And then we're doing two tablespoons of the light feta cheese. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Like I said, this is one of my favorite things at Starbucks. I'm going to go ahead and fold it over and tuck it around. 
so that all that goodness stays inside. So what I'm going to do is wrap each of these in some saran wrap and put them in the refrigerator. And then when I go to eat these every morning, I'll throw them in my oven, my air fryer, you can microwave them, put them in a panini press and get them nice and crispy, just like Starbucks. So here are my copycat Starbucks spinach and feta wraps. I wanted to show you what the inside looked like a little bit more up close. Once you add the egg, the sun-dried tomatoes, and the feta cheese, I am really excited for these for the week. I'm probably going to have some fruit with mine just to make it a well-balanced breakfast, but I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. And then on the next screen, I will insert the Starbucks spinach and feta wrap calories, points, and macros, and you are going to be shocked for the exact same thing, how, many lower, how much lower calorie and point this is. For lunch this week, I'm making baked meatballs with spaghetti squash. I love spaghetti squash. It is so amazingly good for you, and it's such a great pasta alternative. So let me show you what's in our recipe. You're going to need some zero point marinara of your choice. I count Classico as zero points. Skinniest Dish has a zero point marinara that you make in your crock pot that is also delicious. Just make sure whatever you're choosing for you is zero points. Shredded Parmesan cheese, Worcestershire sauce, salt and pepper, a spaghetti squash, egg, mozzarella cheese, 93, 96% extra lean ground beef, and then oregano and basil. First thing I'm going to do is get my spaghetti squash in the oven while we put together the meatballs. I just sliced it in half, cleaned it out, sprayed my pan with some nonstick cooking spray. I bake it at about 450 degrees until it is cooked through. So now let's put together the meatballs. I added my pound of ground beef. I'm going to crack in one egg, we're adding all our spices, basil, oregano, salt, and pepper. And about a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. And then the not so fun part. We're going to go ahead and dig in with our hands, mix this all together really well. I do have a quarter sheet pan here sprayed with some nonstick cooking spray. I'm going to roll out the meatballs, put them on the sheet pan, and get them ready to go into the oven. Won't you sing out your frustration? Just say a word. Keep on staring. So I'm going to go ahead and pop my meatballs in the oven right alongside my spaghetti squash. So my meatballs are done, so here they are. I'm going to put them in the bottom of this dish. I guess I definitely could have went with a little smaller dish. Actually, let me transfer these into a smaller dish. Okay, that's a lot better. So I have my meatballs. This is a 32 ounce jar of marinara. I want 20 ounces total, so I'm going to pour about three quarters of the jar of marinara right on top of my meatballs. I am storing these in an oven safe dish if I do want so that I can heat these up in the oven or pull them out of the dish and microwave them, whatever your preference is. I am going to make sure that mine are in an oven safe dish though. And then I'm adding one quarter cup of parm and one and a quarter cup of light mozzarella cheese right on top. So these are the meatballs for meal prep. I'm going to pull the spaghetti squash out of the oven. I'll go ahead and shred that up and we'll get that in the storage container as well. All right, meal prep is ready. We have our meatballs with marinara and cheese and then I have all of my spaghetti squash. That one spaghetti squash made all of this. That is fantastic. It's about three quarters of a cup of spaghetti squash per serving and then you're going to divide your meatballs, marinara, cheese equally amongst the serving. So I will go ahead and put everything here on the screen for you. This is such a protein packed meal prep and a healthy carbohydrate. Cannot wait. For a sweet treat this week, I'm making protein cookie dough. I have been craving cookie dough. Not cookies, but cookie dough. So I found a recipe that is packed with protein and I thought that is 
perfection to cure that craving for cookie dough. So let me show you what's in the recipe. First, you're going to need vanilla protein powder. You could use unflavored, but I'm going to use my favorite, Ascent Native Fuel Micellar Protein in Vanilla Bean. I love Ascent. It has nice, clean ingredients. You can pick it up right off of Amazon, so I will link it down below for you. You'll need some sugar-free chocolate chips, sugar-free maple syrup, and then nut butter of your choice. I know. I broke the lid for this one. This is the turtle cheesecake almond butter from American Dream Nut Butter. I always use American Dream Nut Butter. It is my all time favorite. This one is so good. Chocolate, caramel, all the cheesecake vibes. Super excited to use this. I think it's going to pair really nicely for some protein cookie dough. You guys know my love for American Dream Nut Butter. Lower calories, lower points, better macros than traditional peanut butter. So I will link American Dream Nut Butter down below with 10% off, but I'm going to use the turtle cheesecake almond butter. And then you will probably need a little bit of water to thin things out. So to put together the protein cookie dough, it's so easy, we don't even have to cook it. So the first thing we're going to do is add half of a cup of your nut butter. Highly recommend American Dream Nut Butter. Save yourself some points and calories. And then a quarter cup of sugar-free maple syrup. And we're going to mix that together until fully combined. And then we're adding in two scoops of the protein powder. I'm going to do one scoop at a time because I'm going to mix that in in between adding the second scoop. You want about three quarters of a cup total of protein powder, which is about two scoops of the ascent. So you're going to end up with a pretty crumbly mixture. We're going to add a little bit of water at a time until we have the right consistency. I would say add a tablespoon of water at a time and then stir. So here is what the cookie dough mixture should look like. And then we're going to add in 150 Lily's chocolate chips and stir to combine. Look at this protein cookie dough. I mean, it looks Amazing. So the recipe says that it makes six servings. This is a lot of cookie dough. I will go ahead and put points, calories, macros on the screen for the six servings, but you certainly could probably get double that amount of servings out of this and really lower the points and calories. So if you are going to have less per serving, I would just build the recipe in your recipe builder to know exactly what your points and calories are. But this looks amazing and it's definitely going to cure my craving for cookie dough. Thank you for joining me for this week's meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. I know I can't wait to have them on hand, ready to go, healthy meals all week long. Don't forget all the recipes are on my website, which is down in the description box, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And of course, come on over join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Give this video give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing Monday. I hope you love these recipes and I'll see you next time.